Before testing the water, find the right location. Pick a location away from dead zones, such as corners or steps, and away from pool return lines. If testing a spa, make sure the jets and blowers are turned off. It's also important to take the sample 12 to 18 inches below the surface for both pools and spas. Let's start by testing for free chlorine. Fill the small comparator tube to the 9 milliliter mark. Now add 5 drops of reagent number 1. and five drops of reagent number two. Then cap the tube and invert to mix the sample. Now match the color to the color standard and record as free chlorine. Free chlorine is the chlorine that is available to sanitize and oxidize water. Now add five drops of reagent number three. Cap and invert to mix. Record this as total chlorine. Subtract the free chlorine from the total chlorine to find the combined chlorine. To test bromine, Repeat the free chlorine test, but match the sample to the bromine scale on the comparator block. If the color is off the scale, darker than the comparator tube, when testing either chlorine or bromine, dilute the sample with tap water. Fill the tube to the 4.5 milliliter line with pool water. Then fill to the 9 milliliter mark with tap water. cap, invert to mix, then compare to the comparator block, then multiply by 2. If the sample is still too high, fill the tube to the 1.8 milliliter with pool water. Top up to the 9 milliliter with tap water. Match the color to the sample and multiply by 5. To test the pH of your pool water, rinse then fill the large comparator tube to the 44 milliliter mark. Add five drops of reagent number four. Cap and invert to mix. Record as pH value. Using the Taylor K2005 C test kit, you also have the option to do either an acid demand or a base demand test. These tests will tell you how much product to add to achieve a proper pH value. To use these tests, you will need to have the Pool and Spa Water Chemistry Guide found in the test kit. In the guide, you will find the treatment tables which will help you dose the pool to increase or decrease the pH value based on your water volume. To test total alkalinity, rinse, then fill the large comparator tube to the 25 milliliter mark. Then add two drops of reagent number seven Then add five drops of reagent number eight and swirl to mix. The sample should turn green. Now start adding reagent number nine, counting each drop. 
Stop when the water has turned from green to red. Then add one more drop to make sure the color doesn't change. If there is no change, do not count this drop. Now multiply by 10 to record as total alkalinity. If you have high chlorine levels present in your water sample, add an extra drop of reagent number seven to remove the chlorine interference. To test calcium hardness, rinse and fill the large comparator tube to the 25 milliliter line with your pool water. Then add 20 drops of reagent number 10, swirl to mix. Then add five drops of reagent number 11. The sample should turn to a reddish purple. Then add reagent number 12, counting each drop. Keep swirling the tube as you add the drops. The color should change to blue. Add one more drop. If the color does not change, do not count that drop. Multiply by 10 and record. To test cyanuric acid, rinse then fill the cyanuric acid testing bottle to the 7 milliliter mark with your pool water. Then add reagent number 13 to the 14 milliliter mark. Cap and mix for 30 seconds. Now slowly add the solution to the small comparator tube. Stop when the black dot just disappears when looking down from the top. Now compare and record the cyanuric acid or stabilizer level.